Well, after the fixtures out, we know where we're going for the season, and we start at Ipswich Town on day one and away trip. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm on, on paper, difficult game, um, but difficult for both teams. Um, both teams finished the season last season strongly. Uh, Kieran is a, a very talented young coach, plays the game in what I believe an attractive way. Um, as I said, it's tough for both teams, and we have to play each other at some stage. So. Why not first game? Yeah, two very different teams that come this time uh, at the end of July, but good memories from last season down at Portman Road, which is never a bad thing. Yeah, good memories, um, a very good performance, good results. But as I said, the past is the past that we have to concentrate on moving forwards, and, and that's the first game. We've got to carry momentum through from last season. We've got a challenging pre season schedule, and the players are working tirelessly hard at the moment to make sure they're ready for that first game. And it's one we're looking forward to. And then first home game, which is always a big occasion, is it Wickham Wanderers, which again is another enticing game. Yeah, I mean, as I said, we know we, what's coming, mm. uh, we know what to expect. Uh, Wickham are always a good yardstick in this division, good benchmark, they're always there or thereabouts. I believe Ipswich will be as well, so we'll know pretty quickly just where we're at. Pretty quickly, their managers will be looking at the fixtures today and thinking, oh, they've got a tough game, Bolton Wanderers are uh, exactly, first up. Exactly, and I think you know that's what we've done from last season. We've We've put a marker down with the way we finished, we've carried momentum through and I think, you know, it's easy to look at the fixture schedule and say, oh, that's a big one, or that's tough, or that's a tough run, but most of the, well, all of the other clubs will be looking at, at Bolton Wanderers saying exactly the same thing. It's just, you know, the nature of football, we all have to play each other at some stage. What I will say is we must, you know, be calm. Uh, if we don't pick up wins early on, then it's not the end of the world, then it's not the end of the season. Promotions are won. In, in May, mm. not not in August, July, even this this year. So, mm. yeah, we're we're looking forward to it. We're excited by it. Um, but for now, it's head down and work hard. And teams evolve through a season, don't they? You're a different side in January, February, March than yeah. you were in, in in that tough bleak mid winter. So you can't look at the fixture list and guarantee when it's going to be a hard game or otherwise. Exactly that. I mean, if you look, um, I've said this a few times recently, but from my first game in charge, um, only two players remain, mm. and that's Rico and Gethin Vice, captain and captain. Um, that's how quickly we've had to transition and, and player trading has been a huge part of our development um, and it'll be the same for every other club you know we're, we're all trying to improve we're all trying to move forwards uh, but it's a season I'm really looking forward to and I'm excited Always competitive, some big old clubs in it. Derby County have come down. We know they've got their problems, but it's a special club in your heart, given your career, and, and yeah. a great one to have in the fixture list, and especially on Boxing Day. Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, I, I hope that their situation gets resolved. Um, that's a wonderful football club, and, and being the Bolton Wanderers manager, we know only too well what they're going through at the moment. Um, but yeah, Boxing Day, uh, huge gate, huge revenue for, for, for our club. Uh, great game to be involved in, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, it does focus the mind a little bit with the fixtures out today, and I know that the supporters back home will be enjoying seeing them and hearing from yourself, but obviously a lot of work still to do before then. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it, it, it's, it gives us something to work towards now. We know it's Ipswich Town, we know how they play, they know how we play, so functionally we can start working tactically on, on how to affect them and, and how to combat them. Um, again, a tough pre-season schedule to get through first, everything's going really well at the moment. Uh, and we're excited to get going. Mm -hmm. Just nice in, in this week's gone well. I mean, they had the back out on the grass again this morning. The balls are yeah. out for this next session. It's it's been a good week. Yeah, the balls won't be there to start with. They'll be running. <laughs> um, but look, they've worked really hard. And as I said, as a benchmark from from last pre-season and, and the running times, uh, they are you know miles ahead from where they were. And as I said, you know functionally they need to be fit enough to do themselves justice tactically of what I need from them. Um, and they've all got that in their minds now, they know exactly what's expected and I'm excited to see them work. Kieran Lee's not with us but we believe good news from home yeah. from him and the family for us. Yeah, nice. they've given birth to the third child yesterday on his birthday so congratulations to Kieran and his family, I wish them well. We'll see them next week, we'll see, yeah. see Kieran next week. Absolutely, with Connor and, and James who are being with us on Monday. Good.